Hello my friends, the Game Boy Geek here. I'm gonna throw out a buzzword to you. Let's just say the word cake, C-A-K-E, like a birthday cake. That's the buzzword. I'm gonna give you a phrase, and then you're gonna give me another phrase back that has the word cake in it. So if I were to say to you, a task that's done very easily, you might say, cake walk. Or, if I say, get exactly everything that you wanted, you might say, have your cake and eat it too. So that's what you do here in the game called Buzzword. It's a party game for four more players, a light party game. We're going to open it up, show you the card, show you how it's played, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. In Buzzword, you and your team are trying to get as many correct answers as possible before a timer goes out. So here's an example. In this case, the buzzword is now. Now the other team will start the timer and start reading these 1 through 10. And the clue might be one with a nervous bad habit. And the buzzword is nail, which means the answer somewhere has nail in it. Every single answer will have the word nail in it. So one with a nervous bad habit, nail biter. Gut right to the point, hit the nail on the head. Five on each hand, fingernails. Heavy metal band, abbreviated M-I-N. Nine inch nails. Roofer's tool powered by compressed air. Nail gun. Paint for your piggies. Nail polish. Fashion two by fours at a corner. Toenail. Teacher's attention getter. Nails on the chalkboard. A tool that drives a smidgen deeper than a hammer. Nail set. Metal, every, uh, metal emery board. Nail file. So as this goes on, the team is trying to answer these before the one minute timer's up. Um, and at any point they can pass, and, uh, or if they just can't get it right, they can you know, just either pass, or if they got it wrong, you know, they won't get a point for it. For every one of these that they get right, they're gonna get a point. Now let's show you what's happening while, these, while this is going on from the other team. So as the team is trying to guess these, let's just say it was the guys that were doing it. Every time they get a correct answer, they're getting a point. And someone from the other team also has these numbered cards. They're numbered 1 through 10. For everyone they get right, they're putting them face down. For everyone that they skip, they're leaving face up. And so maybe they've gotten 2, 3, and 4 right, then they skip 5, they skip 6, they get to 7. And let's say they didn't get any further than 7. Since they didn't get any further than 7, 8, 9, and 10 are also up. Now, at the end of this turn here, the team that was the non-guessing team uh, the one that was holding the card and reading the questions to them, they get to try to steal any of these points that are face up. So essentially anything that's skipped or anything that hasn't gotten to, the other team gets a quick chance to answer these. So that one person who was reading would read number two, five, six, eight, nine, and 10 to the other team. And they have to quickly, there's no timer, but it's supposed to be very quick. Either you know it or you don't. Uh, and so for each of these, they can try to get these points for them too. So on your turn, you're trying to guess these for the buzzwords. For every point you get one, for everyone you skip or don't get to, the other team gets to try at the end of your turn. And the first team that gets to 50 wins. Now let's just take a look at a couple more of these buzzword cards. Here's some more buzzword cards. The buzzword here is ground. The Java particles remain in the filter, coffee grounds. So ground might be one. Or you might have school where a big group of swimming animals, school of fish, uh, arm, a symbol of mourning, black armband, uh, uses leverage to persuade, strong arm, jam, gridlock on the streets is a traffic jam, sourdough and spread uh, is bread and jam, beauty, get a hairdo here, beauty parlor, Marlon Monroe had one, beauty mark, and so on and so forth, and head, and dream, and light, and ball, then there's some other ones, if you flip them over, there's a whole set of blue cards, luck, two, make, Hi, so you can see there's there's a lot of replay ability here too. Well, there you have Buzzword, still one of my favorite party games. Uh, we've had this game for a long time. The reasons why I love this game is number one, it scales greatly. Whether you have four players, 10 players, 20 players, doesn't matter if you have a big party, you can just split up into two teams and yell out the buzzwords, yell out the phrases, and let people yell the answers out. So this can be played with a huge difference amount of people. 
and a lot of times you might have a big group that you want to pull something out. This is a great game for that. It's quick, it's easy, it's not too hard. Some of them are harder than others. You might get stuck with a hard card, but for the most part, some of them are there. It's always funny when you have the card and you're looking at the answer, oh, how easy this seems. Oh, it always seems that easy. But when you're on the other end and you don't have the answer, it's always harder than it seems. But it's not too difficult to take away the fun. It's still fun. There's two different sides of the cards that will help you with the different difficulty levels. It is a lot of fun. Another reason why I really do like this game is we take this on road trips all the time, on planes. We take just the stack of cards. We put them in the elastics, we put them in a the bag. It doesn't take up a lot of room. You can kind of play it with people in the car. You don't have to really keep score. You don't even have to split up into teams if you didn't want to. We play it on road trips to LA all the time from Phoenix where we've got people in the back and, okay, here's the buzzword, let's go. We go through them all and, you know, it's just an easy way to fill a good uh, road trip or travel time and it's really small. So we take this one all the time on our travel trips. Good little portability that way too. So all in all, it's a great party game. I bet you you'll like it. If you do like party games, this is a good one to have.